Hello, John Talley here with Boats.net. Today we're going to be replacing the output shields and the prop shaft on our 2004 Yamaha F225. Before we get started, let's step over to the table and look at the tools and the parts we're going to need to pull this off. Our parts list is really short for this one. You're basically looking at two seals, which are the same part number, and two O-rings, which are also the same part number. Now, let's talk about the special tools you're going to need to do this. Yamaha offers a prop shaft housing puller that's mainly designed for lower displacement engines. I really am going to find it difficult to believe that this unit's going to be able to pull that particular one apart. So I have on hand one made by Marine Tech. This thing is a beast. So if you don't have one of these on your shelf, I recommend that you get one. I have yet to run into a prop shaft that this thing could not remove. Well, we've got our parts together and our tools together, so let's step over and see if we can get this little project done. We already know this outboard has severe problems, but before we pull the prop shaft housing, I want to go ahead and drain the lower unit just to see what's in there. Yeah, when you see that kind of debris and that kind of sludge draining out of a drive, it's not a good sign. <laughs> As that is draining, we're going to go ahead and start to pull the uh, prop shaft. Looking at the condition of this drive overall, I'm not even going to attempt it with a smaller puller from Yamaha. I've actually straightened these out before, uh, just overusing them. So we're going to go ahead and go for the Marine Tech tools, see if we can get this thing pulled apart. Get these two 12 millimeters out of the way, then we'll bring over that tool, get it mounted up. See if it can pull this thing apart. Now we can get to those other retaining bolts. Now let's reach in, attach our puller. Let's see what we get. All right, guys, let's put a little bit more effort into this. And if it still doesn't go, then we're going to get out the torch and try heating her up a little bit. There was no way either one of those other two pullers was going to do this. So we've got her over at the teardown bench and I can tell you that bearings should not sound like that and the gears should not have rust on them. But the purpose of this video is to show you how to replace the prop shaft seals as well as the o-rings and that's what we're going to show you. We will go back and address the bearing issue in a different video. So let's pretend that everything's fine on the gear and that everything sounds good on the bearing and we're going to go ahead and go forward to complete this project. Now what we need to do is get those seals out of there, as well as the O-rings. So let's start by picking out the O-rings. They're almost camouflaged in here. Now they are corroded in there pretty well, so we are going to end up using this slide hammer puller. We're just going to reconfigure it to where we can reach in there and pop them out. That was not going to be pried out with a screwdriver. All right, let's go for that second one. So they are out. I'm just going to carry it over to the parts washer, get it cleaned up, maybe get a wire brush after some of this corrosion, and then we'll start putting it back together. We have our housing cleaned up reasonably well, and we're getting ready to drive in our new seals. Now I'm using a driver set. I didn't mention that on our tool section. If you don't have one, just get a socket that's roughly the diameter of the outside, just a little bit on the inside is what you're looking for, but you do want to hit it on this outer edge. And the way these both go in is 
the concave section right here, both of them face out or up. So they'll end up sitting in there like this. Let's get it squared up. Now let's go ahead and bottom it out. That should do it. Now we're just going to put the other one same direction and drive it till it hits the first one. That should do. Now we want to go ahead and pack grease into the grooves of both of them. While you're in there, you can hit that lower needle bearing with just a light coat. Before we put the O-rings on, let's go ahead and put a coat of grease all the way around inside the groove and on the housing itself. Try to ward off some of that corrosion that's inevitably coming. These O-rings are the same size, so it doesn't matter which one goes where. A little bit more grease to make it easier to get it back into the lower unit. And our housing is ready to go, but there's still some more housekeeping to do on that lower unit housing because it's still a mess in there. So give me a few minutes to get it cleaned out and then uh, we'll get this reinstalled. So let's get this put back together, even as ugly as it is. Now we can get our bolts and just pull it back in. Well, all right, guys, that pretty much wraps this one up. Now, of course, I have a lot more to do on this particular drive, but all you have to do now is to get it refilled with lower unit fluid and get that prop put back on. Well, listen, if you need any parts for your boat, why don't you come see us at boats.net and we can get you taken care of. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the section below and I'll do my best to answer them. Hey, if you like what you see, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you can keep up with whatever I'm working on next. We just want to say thank you for shopping here with us at Boats.net, and we will see you in the next video. Have a great day.